Go ahead. Um, we were able. So to, where where are we? Um, at this point. No, no, we're we're in Brooklyn. We're in Brooklyn, New York, um, at IS three forty nine School of Math, Science, and Technology. Great. Um, I utilized the the um, the simulator with um, many different students, and the success stories were. Um, the students that were difficult to engage on a daily basis were very, very um, excited and very, very um, competent um, with using the machine. I actually had um, one student train other kids on how to actually work through the fight simulation. And um, he's a very difficult case. He's been um, difficult to deal with all year. And it was the first time he really acted in a professional and in a very scholarly fashion. So it affected his behavior, his demeanor, and his engagement. And his, again, his ability to complete tasks, was that an issue? Um, it, it has been. Right. Um, and even after using it, um, it's been kind of a carrot and stick. We've been able to say, okay, well, you can, you can continue to do that job if you are willing to participate. To right. So we've had uh, uh, one particular student in, in, uh, Brooklyn, in, uh, in Harlem, uh, Josh Rivera is his name, and he has Asperger's. And he has excelled where he is now on a full scholarship at the uh, Vaughan College of Aeronautics and Engineering, and he's becoming a pilot. He is a pilot. He was flying yesterday. Wow. Um, so the, the, the objective here is to see if we can reach kids that don't respond to that traditional learning environment. Would you rate this as a tool for that? I definitely would rate this as a tool. That's great. Thank you. Would you like to have more of them in your school? I would. Um, but that's a personal opinion at this point. Okay, thank you very much.